Hello Internet, this is Jason from Atomic Martian Toy Reviews, and this is a cheap toy review. For those of you who are not familiar with our cheap toy reviews, it's basically a toy review that we post on our blog at AtomicMartians.blogspot.com, and it's of a discounted or, or um, inexpensive toy that's been out for a while that we wouldn't uh, normally feature on our show. Um, this particular one is the Night Raven from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. Um, I was able to obtain it for $15 at TJ Maxx. Um, they had a couple others there, um, but they were marked at $19.95. Um, this one was marked down from, for $15 because it's a leftover from Christmas, and the other ones um, they had just recently got in. All right, let's start this off here. Um, the box is in... Reason, reasonable condition. Um, there was some damage on the back. I'm a little concerned that this may have been opened or returned. Um, the lady at the store promised me that it wasn't returned. Um, so, um, all the parts may be in this or they may not. You know, it's hard to say. I bought it from TJ Maxx, so it's really difficult to say. Um, the figure is in there. He's um, Astro Vipers. is a little bit different coloring than the standard Astro Viper. Um, I don't know, all around I think this is going to be pretty cool. This is my first one I've gotten, I, I keep putting it off. I'm not a huge fan of the Rise of Cobra stuff, so I really don't buy very much of it. Um, but for 15 bucks and it's a big plane, I figured, what the hell. So let's get it open. Alright, I just opened everything up. Um, as far as I can tell, everything is in here. We have our sticker packet here. Um, the plane um, seems to be intact. Um, there's some more parts below there. I don't know. It, it it might not have been a uh, repackage. So, hopefully it's not. I don't really feel like going to TJ Maxx tomorrow and having to return it. So, Alright, as far as the figure goes, he is just a repaint of the 25th anniversary figure. I do like the um, kind of gray and black color scheme on him. Um, I don't know, he does look different. And I, I definitely like it. I like his uh, style. I like the other one too, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but... Yep, he's basic uh, repaint. Alright, I have it completely assembled here. I even um, went through the trouble of putting all the decals on and stuff like that for you. Um, there's not a whole lot going on in my house tonight, so I had some extra time, so I went ahead and did that. Um, <clears throat> overall, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't own the original Night Raven, so I don't have anything to base um, my opinions of this thing on. Um, so any critiques or any, any comments I make um, may have already been included in the original Night Raven, but I don't know because I don't own it. I do like this feature, the way the cockpit drops down like that, and you can load the figure directly in. Like I said, I don't know if the original Night Raven did that or not, um, but I think it is a really cool feature how it pops up and pops down. It's a lot bit easier than, um, it's a lot easier than uh, trying to load them from the top. I think it gives a pretty cool. I also have this thing set up. I went ahead and um, took some batteries out. So I have it set that it makes the noise. It kind of lights up on the back here. It does that. So it's a kind of neat feature. I mean, the sound isn't the best on it, but I don't know. Not really sure what that that one is. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Um, the color scheme is pretty cool with the kind of grayish black and the red. Um, I like the uh, the kill count on here. That's how many sky strikers he shot down. Um, I guess we'll we'll get a real showdown between this. This guy and the uh, modern Sky Striker when that comes out this fall. Alright, I have Striker hanging here. I'm going to see if I can shoot him down with this thing. So we're going pretty far back in the room. Go. All the way back here. As you can see, no, the missiles even came close to hitting Striker. So, let's try something a little bit closer. Hey, Footloose, you hear that noise? What is that? No, Hulk, I don't hear anything. Oh, shit, it's a night...
Well, that was a little better. At least it took out uh, the dog. Alright, so there you have it. The Rise of Cobra Night Raven uh, by Hasbro. Um, for some quick scores, um, as far as value, I would say um, at 15 bucks, I give it a 9. If it was a full retail price, I would probably give it a um, 7 or a 6. Um, I think 35 bucks is probably a little too steep for this, but but for $15, yeah, you can't beat it. Um, for quality, I would give it an 8. Um, this thing's built pretty well. It looks good. Um, everything seems to be pretty awesome with it. And as far as appearance goes, um, I'd give it a 9 as well. Um, I think it looks a lot better than I actually thought it, it would um, before I took out the package. So. Alright, there you go. This is Jason from Atomic Martians Toy Reviews. Don't forget to check out our blog at atomicmartians.blogspot.com. See ya.